has failed us. I say something wrong. <laughs> something wrong. The FNM has failed us. I say something wrong. The DNA does not even know who the father is. I say something wrong. I say it's time for a new government. The V. I. P. Mr. Chairman. I like that. I know many of you are saying right now, well, what is the VIP? A bit bamboozled. Very the VIP, this acronym stands for very important pork fried rice. Very important people. See, fellow Toastmasters and guests, it is time for foreigners to run this country. Uh -oh. Give it back to the right now. Yeah, you're looking at me like, where is the good Toastmaster going with this? You must be a Catholic. But see, for too long, yeah. we, the members of the VIP, have been in the background. We have been in the backdrop of this country, feeding our behemoths. We have been in the inner cities, the urban communities, <laughs> developing stomachs of the Bahamian people yes. for years. Big belly. For 30 years strong, <laughs> yeah. we were here before Bamboo Shack. Yes. Fellow Toastmasters and yes, no other government has done this before. I call upon my member of immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Three dollar meals, <laughs> fellow Toastmasters and guests. Which government cares for you? You know, there's a saying that goes a way to a man's heart, it's true of stomach. The VIP has known this for years, fellow Toastmasters and guests. <laughs> See, we're not a government. Ah, during Christmas time, we give you harm and truth. All year round, we are feeding. The last washing. Uh -huh. And in fact, we did not stop there, fellow Toastmasters and guests. I remember the Please. Turn it around. We, the members of the VIP, $5.99, please. Fat free. Fat free. Fat free and fat free. Fellow Toastmasters and guests. I know MSG. My name is Something Wong. Something Wong. And we care. Tiger Wong. <laughs> you see, fellow Toastmasters and yes, as the leader of the VIP, yeah. I came to fix this country. You, like this one. I like this one. you see, if you could just travel, look into your own homes, your household, go into the kitchen, all your appliances you would see made in China. In fact, <laughs> this very coat, our good president, China. Oh, God. <laughs> this way right now would say, made in China. <laughs> Fellow yeah. Toastmasters and guests, Mike's George, Mike's Mike's George Mike's from Mike's I tell you, Paul Hayes. Paul Hayes. our very own Bahama land, which we love, in fact, I could say, was made in China. <laughs> <laughs> you laugh, but think about it. The very canalizing stream, a donation, uh, made in China. <laughs> the very roads you travel on to get to the newly built stadium, that was built in China. Think about it now. You know, Buddy Hill should be Buddy Lee. Buddy Lee! Origin! Origin! This is a serious matter because we, the members of the VIP, we IP are trying to steer this country in the right direction. <laughs> Shawnee yeah, Miller should not be diving for coach, she should be diving for tilapia. <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Toastmasters and guests, see, we cared about the infrastructure and develop. Turn them on instead of a hama. Indeed, indeed. And so timely, Toastmaster, distinguished Toastmaster. Because uh -huh. right now, <laughs> our Prime Minister Perry Glass and Christine. See, he has heard about the campaign trail. So one of you in here must be the mode. 
<laughs> what is he saying to me right now? <laughs> wow, Mr. Something Wrong, <laughs> I have heard you are blazing three marks in the campaign trail right now. And I have to tell you this, this is a good day for the Bahamas. <laughs> this is a great day for Bahamians, Mr. Something Wrong. <laughs> the new deal has been struck between your government, yourself, Mr. Something Wrong, I go so, rebuild Bahama. <laughs> China Ma. This is a Herculean effort from you, Mr. Something Wrong. The negotiation was tough, it was brutal. But you pulled through. My God. And now it took you, a Chinese, a black Chinese man, black Chinese man or two, to black take Chinese. this country <laughs> to the next level. Black but, Chinese man. You know, fellow Toastmasters and yes, you always have your haters. Anywhere you go. And my long time cousin heard I was running to be the next prime minister of this country. My cousin, Mr. John Shea, number four. And he, <laughs> he said, this is something wrong. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, the thing about the white behemoths. He was a black Chinese man, and you can't have no white babies. So I told him, my hater, Mr. John Shea, number four, you know, uh, 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 Two ones don't make a way. Come on, those masters and yes. See, I take, I take my country serious. I take my country serious. So, if you want, if you want to experience the VIP, it is not too late. And you know, I, I'll be brief because I see my time is running up, and I have a next speech to present down to Ragged Island tonight. But, you know, I've yeah. traveled to many clubs, many concerts, and, you know, every club I go in, the people are always asking me one question. How to get in the VIP? Fellow <laughs> Toastmasters, I guess, what I'm saying to you tonight. If you are tired of one hold, put kicks in the road. If you are tired of being a normal citizen and you want to be VIP, I say, vote something wrong. <laughs> <laughs>